Hey guys and welcome back to the channel. Today we are here on the Hunter Call of the Wild. We're out here on Hirschfeld and we're going to be doing a hunt with the new Stenberg Takedown Recurve Bow. So I did a hunt over on Silver Ridge Peaks yesterday with this bow and had a lot of fun with it so I figured we'd bring it along with us here on Hirschfeld. Now the other reason that I'm out here is because I found a 9 legendary red fox here on the map. He was crossing through this field over here, um, it was like 1630 I think in the game. When I spotted him he was crossing through, I guess he was going from either a feed zone or resting zone to his drinking zone since they do drink at 1700. But anyway, he was crossing through, so I figured I'd set up a tree stand here, put out our um, electronic collar, and see if we could call him in and kind of ambush him, so that's what we're gonna do. But first, we are gonna hunt about five or six animals just to kind of get started here. And then after that, we'll go take him down and everything and then wrap things up after that. So I really do hope you enjoyed this video, and if you do, don't forget to like and subscribe. Let's go ahead and jump right in. Now starting us off, we have a level 2 road deer, 46 to 58 for his estimates. He's coming in pretty close here, so we're going to go ahead and take him down. I do have the electronic collar over there, as you can probably hear it. Um, yeah, let's go ahead and take that shot, and we dropped him on the spot, so I imagine that is probably a heart shot. Now I'm definitely going to turn that call off because it is probably the most annoying I've heard so far out of all the calls on here. So we'll go ahead and get that turned off and everything. Let's get this guy picked up, we'll see how we did. He is going to be a silver at 55.70, and we got him just in the single lung there, so that was the left lung at 36 meters, but it just dropped him on the spot. We've got a level 6 red deer here, 113 to 159 for his estimates. He is going attentive, so let's go ahead and get him really quickly. So he's going to be 33 meters out, and let's go ahead and take that shot. And we dropped him on the spot. There is a red fox right there, so I'm going to lay down just to see what that is really quickly. Um, I don't know where my binoculars went. There they are. It's going to flee, so never mind. It is a level 7, 11 to 13. I would have really loved to try and get him just to kind of test the bow out on the red fox because we are going to need a little bit of practice before we take down that 9 legendary. But we got our red deer here. I did hear some other red deer off in the distance, so I'm kind of just going to lay here for a second, see where they're at, and if they don't come in, we'll go ahead and get this level 6 picked up. I'm not seeing any more red deer, so we're going to go ahead and get this level 6 picked up. He will be a silver at 154.28. We got him in the right humerus, right lung, heart, and the left lung. So that was a beautiful shot at 32 meters. And we kind of cut it close, honestly. I'm not sure if he was going alarmed at that point. I really wasn't paying attention to what his status was. But he was definitely getting close to fleeing, I know. But we did get him with a really good shot. So let's go ahead and move on. We've got a herd of wild boar coming in, so there's a level 3, 67 to 98 for his estimates. We're going to go ahead and take this guy down. There's also a level 2 and a level 4 off to my right, but he is not coming in for some reason. So let's go ahead and get this guy. We'll take that, and it should be good. I don't see any blood there, but he is down. So the level 4 was over there, but he just would not come over. The wind was kind of terrible, so he was going alert and stuff. But we did get our level 3, so we'll go ahead and get him picked up. He will be a silver at 84.31. Got him in the left lung, liver, and the stomach. So hit a little bit far back, but it did get to the left lung and the liver, which are both vitals at 21 meters. Now there is a red deer somewhere over here, at least he was, and there he is, level 5, 96 to 142. Let's go ahead and see if we can get him called in. And here we have that level 5, so 96 to 142 for his estimates. He is at 80 meters out, but we should be able to get him here. We have the rangefinder and everything on. So let's go ahead and go for something like that as long as he doesn't turn. Should be good and we definitely hit him. So now we just got to make sure it got to the lungs there and 50, 75, 25. He is starting to drop. So that is good to see. So we'll get over here and we'll get him picked up. Let's go ahead and get this level 5 picked up. He is going to be just a silver at 124.16. We got him in the left humerus and the left lung at 74 meters. So he wasn't as far out as the binoculars said, but still that was a pretty good distance. So we'll get him picked up. And we've got a herd of European bison right here. There's a level 4, 114 to 125 for his estimates. There's also a level 3 over here, 103 to 114. So he's actually going to be fleeing. The wind was terrible and I was crouching right here. So that is why he ended up fleeing. But I do want to get this level 4 if we can. So we're just going to keep moving around here. I will let you know when we have a clear shot on him. Okay guys, so right now these bison actually are just resting on the other side of this hill. So I'm trying to get as close as possible without spooking them. So far I haven't got any fleeing calls or anything like that. I'm not 100% sure where that level 4 is going to be once we get over here. But they are quite literally just going to be right here as soon as we potentially stand up. Um, we still have a little bit to go, so let's just keep crawling. Like I said, I will let you know when we have a clear shot on him. And here we have our level 4, so we're going to go ahead and just shoot him. All of a sudden, they just he went aggressive and then like came at me, and then all at once decided to start fleeing. So I don't even know how good of a shot that was going to be. I saw the vital blood there, so he is going to be going down. We also have this one. I don't know if it's trying to attack me. No, it's just fleeing. But yeah, that all at once just kind of happened. He came up to me, went aggressive, immediately started fleeing, and then, yeah, we were able to get him. 
I would have loved if we were able to just take him down while he was in his resting zone, but I really didn't see a chance of us actually getting close without them fleeing. But here he is, he will be a gold at 115.05, and got him in the liver, stomach, and the right lung, so did hit pretty far back right there, but just managed to get into the right lung and the liver, which like I said, are both vitals, and that was at 5.83 meters, so that's about as close as we're going to get. But yeah, I think it's time to go take down our 9 legendary, it is 1600 right now, so it's actually perfect. He should be getting close to walking through the field, so let's see if we can get this guy. Now there he is guys, our 9 legendary red fox, 11 to 14 for his estimate, so diamond is 14, he would have to score at the very top end of those estimates to make diamond, and I just don't see it happening honestly. It would be cool if it does, we'll have to wait and see, but we're definitely going to take him down either way. So right now I'm just trying to get him in as close as possible, the wind is starting to go into his favor, which is, isn't exactly ideal, so hopefully that doesn't mess things up. But I do think he'll get here before he gets close enough to start affecting the hunt. But right now he is about 70 meters out. I would prefer if he was about 30 to 40 meters out, just because he is a small target and I've never really hunted um, foxes with the bow. But he's at 60 right now, so I'm just going to continue to let him come in. And basically what his pathing was, was he comes from right up there somewhere. I'm not sure what he, what he came from, if it was a resting or feeding zone. But he comes through and I imagine he goes to either this lake or this lake over here for his drink zone, which starts at 1700. So yeah, let's go ahead and see exactly where he's got to. He's now at 48 meters, so definitely getting closer. I need a broadside shot as well. He's going to go through the brush there, and if he stops right there, I will take the shot, which he's going to. So let's go ahead and get ready. And, okay, he's going to continue to move, so I don't want him to end up moving while we're trying to shoot. So I think we just take that shot now, and we definitely hit him, and he's dropping 50 to 75. He was dropping kind of slow there, but we definitely got him. 0 to 25. And he is down. Okay, that was pretty fun, honestly. Just trying to get him and trying to not worry about actually messing him up and stuff like that. So let's turn that collar off because it is extremely annoying. And then we'll get over there and we'll get him picked up and everything. And the moment of truth, let's go ahead and get this guy picked up and let's see if he's going to be a diamond. And he actually will be a diamond. That is actually insane. 14.08, so he just barely made it. Like I said, diamond is actually 14.05, so I didn't know if the .05 was there. But that is crazy. He only made it by .03. But we got him in the right lung a little bit far back, but that was at 41 meters. And just absolutely insane that he actually ended up making diamond. And then we're able to get him there. I really didn't expect to get him. I figured at some point I was going to mess him up or he was going to flee or something crazy like that. But that was just about as good as that was going to get. So 9 Legendary Red Fox, not quite max weight. Max weight is 15.80, I think it was. He's at 14.22, so a little bit small on the weight side of things. But he is, in fact, a diamond. Just absolutely insane. So we'll go ahead and get some screenshots and everything. Let's head to the lodge. Let's find a place to put him. And then we'll wrap things up after that. Okay guys, so here we are in the Leighton Lakes Trophy Cabin. So I've actually been trying to fill this cabin up just a bit. I've got a lot of trophies from like my Great One grind. You can see the white tail, the moose, red deer, and fallow. Those are some of the ones that I just really didn't need in my main lodge, so I just moved them into here. We have one of our diamond wild boar that we um, got the other day from the wild boar guide over on Hirschfelden. We have a diamond merriam turkey. And then here we have the red fox plaque. So let's go ahead and we'll put him right here. So diamond red fox, 14.09. Let's get him placed. I figured I really didn't need another Diamond Red Fox in my main lodge. We already had two of them in here, and he is one of my smaller ones. So we'll just do something like that. Eventually, we can get another Diamond Coyote and kind of place them side by side with like the same pose potentially. But yeah, just absolutely insane that he did make Diamond and that we were able to get him like that. So I really do hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, don't forget to like and subscribe. Do all that stuff. It really does help out the channel, and I will see you all in the next one. Bye-bye.